If you've got an insurance question, you could talk to a park ranger, but the only quotes they'd probably give you would be about the beauty of a fallen leaf or ripples in a pond, not the kind that could save you money on your policies. Or you could talk to your local Geico agent, who's an expert navigator of the insurance landscape. They could use their expertise to guide you on ways to save hundreds on your policies, while leaving it up to your park ranger to save the wilderness and any endangered picnic baskets. Go online to geico.com slash local to find a Geico agent near you. The following is a Hoop Bowl presentation. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of Today in Sports Betting, presented by Hoop-Ball.com. I'm your host today, Vince Miracle. Amanda, we got a lot to talk about. Unfortunately, my streak has officially come to an end, and it tends to always happen to me like that once you really start talking about wins. You know, it it, it, start, it starts to become a lot of pressure uh, on us, so... Uh, yeah, let's see if I let's see if I can get a bounce back day in today. You know what I mean? Losses are a part of the game. It's all about how you come back from it. You know, we're still looking good on the year in terms of NBA and MMA picks for me. I I even I think I'm also like two and one on college picks this year, so that's not too bad. Let's just hop right in, guys. Big card today. I think there's a lot of value out there. First game starts at four oh five. PM Pacific Standard Time. You have the Toronto Raptors going on the road as five and a half point favorites against these Washington Wizards with an expected return of Russell Westbrook. The line sits at an over under of 234. So they are expecting quite a few points to be brought up today. It's a it's gonna be a very interesting game. The Raptors are definitely playing better as of late. Freddie Van Vliet's just been outstanding, putting up buckets. Kyle Lowry's kind of been gone the last couple games. He scored, I think, a total of nine points uh, against Memphis in 20 minutes. He just hasn't been the same, you know. It's it's It tends to happen with Kyle Lowry every single season. Man, this one's tough for me. I'm leaning, I'm still leaning on the, on the Raptors in terms of just taking them head on. They should be the favorite. Five and a half is a lot for a home team. Alex Lynn really has made a difference for this Wizards team since he's gotten there. Rui's been looking good. Westbrook just isn't good for this team. He, he's not a good fit, and, and, and we saw that, and that's why they were our, our underdog picks the other day when he was out. Hmm. I may be avoiding this game. It's just too confusing to figure out with this one. I, I, I seriously don't know what to do. I guess I guess I would kind of lean toward the Wizards though. Again, you're at home, you get six points. The home field advantage should always come to effect. Rui still plays really good defense. I just see Pascal going off. I don't know anyone. Uh, nah, yeah, see, I I can't go either either side of that. I mean, if I had to choose anything out of this, it would probably be. I'd go under on two thirty four and a half. I don't know if it's going to be that high of a scoring game. I see the Raptors taking off. Yeah, I can't. I I thought I'd lean Wizards, but the more and more I look at this Raptors roster and how they can attack you with multiple different players, I just I just think the Raptors are a better team, and they are the better team. So let's go ahead and say we're leaning Raptors, but the bet that we're we're circling is under two thirty four and a half. Hawks Mavericks. That's the next game. The next game that tips off at four thirty-five p.m. Hawks on the road in Dallas, just as three and a half point underdogs to the Mavs. Over under sits at two thirty-two and a half, which surprised me quite a bit. I'm already taking the over on that one. If the Raptors game is that high, I think the Hawks Mavs game should be sitting up that high. And I actually like the Hawks in this game, guys. This is our uh, this is our UD play of the game, underdog play of the game. We're taking the Atlanta Hawks money line plus one forty five. 
and the the points plus three and a half. We like both of those. That's my UD pick of the day. I'm giving you guys a wager pass look right now. So you guys already know with my, my underdog picks of the get day, I always tend to go pretty big on these. And it's because I see the value in the dollar on them. And the Hawks are playing well right now. They're playing very well. John Collins and Clint Capella, the Capella Project, has really been working out for them. And I think Trey Young has found a little move that gets him to the line that is starting to be comparable to the James Harden step back, which is he likes to come down fast, get the guy behind him, and then just kind of jump backwards into a jumper right at the free throw line. It's always right at the free throw line. And uh, he gets fouled from a little bump, and he gets to go to the line. He, he gets that probably like two, two to four times a game. Easy points for him. I like the Hawks in this one. I also think they lost in their last matchup against the Mavericks, so revenge game here. And also, you just got to love the fact that it's Trey Young versus Luka Doncic. I think Doncic is going to have a huge game in this one again, so for all you DFS people. But this is our UD play of the game. I like the Hawks on the road, uh, upsetting the Dallas Mavericks. I also like the over of 232.5. Hornets, Grizzlies. That's next. Great game. LaMelo Ball has been balling out. Scary Terry's balling out. Gordon Hayward, man, what a difference he makes on that team, right? Really good player. Plus four on the road against the Grizzlies in Memphis. Over-under sits at 224. Hmm, man. I, I, I'm slightly leaning to the over on that one. I, I really do like the Grizzlies because Jonas Valanciunas is back and he's actually looking well. He's making that team better. But the way the Hornets have been playing, it's hard for me to go against them. Uh, I would probably just ju- just do plus four. Take the points, maybe buy a point and a half to make yourself feel a little bit better. But no, it's Cody Zeller plays good defense. I mean, away from Valanciunas, the Grizzlies don't have much of an inside presence. I like the LaMelo versus John Morant show. I'm taking plus four. I'm taking the Hornets. Another UD play of the day is this next game right here. I love this team. I'm all about this team. Uh, I saw Troy when he hosted this show say that I, that he thought I said that I wanted the Pacers to go to the championship. I said they're a dark horse to go to the championship, and that's before they made the trade for Karis LeVert. If Karis LeVert comes back and he's and he's capable of playing at a high level, I really do like this this Pacers team. He fills a role perfectly. LeVert does steps right into that Oladipo role. I think it helps out Sabonis and Brogdon, who have just been having amazing seasons. But it pays even money to as the Pacers are on the road as one and a half point underdogs again. Even money against the Brooklyn Nets. Nets, again, without KD. There is expected for Kyrie to return. Noah Vonley, hopefully, would be making his debut for this team. We'll see how that goes. But I like the Pacers. I like the Pacers team. And I I definitely think they have a strong chance of winning that game. With that said, I'm definitely taking that money line and getting paid even money. I'm also taking under 235.5. I don't see it going up that high. and And I like that one a lot as well, under 235.5. Clippers, Timberwolves, poo-poo game. Minus 10.5 is the spread. No Paul George. Doesn't matter. Clippers are going to win this game. It's all about the over-under and how you're really feeling. I, I I just avoid that game. That game is not really much to talk about there. If, I, if anything, if you're looking for DFS plays, I like a Lou Williams. I like a Ricky Rubio. I like Jared Vanderbilt. Josh Okoge. Just, you know, cheap guys that could possibly go off. But, yeah, I'm not I'm not really messing with that game. Pelicans-Bulls. This is a good one. Zion only had to play 20 minutes in a game where he he beat he beat a team that I did not expect him to beat as bad as he did yesterday. Second night of the back-to-back. Pels are now on the road in Chicago as two-and-a-half-point favorites over the Chicago Bulls. Or once again going to be without Laurie Markkanen. Man, I like the Bulls. I still like the way that they play. 
Thad Young has been playing well for them. Valentine's been playing well. I just don't know who slows down the big bodies of Zion and Steven Adams down low. And I think that's what got, has them favored. Lonzo's been playing better. It's a straight pick em, guys. I, I really couldn't tell you. Either way, like I can't, I it's a coin flip for me, and and the and the spread shows that they really don't even know. It's a pick 'em game. I like the over on two twenty nine and a half. I can see this being a, a shootout, but yeah, this game kind of scares me a little bit. I probably wouldn't do a lot on any of these. Uh, value for your dollar is obviously rolling with the Bulls since it is a pick 'em and they are the home team. But the Pels are fun to watch, man. They got they got a lot of talent. Bi has been. Crazy Zion's been crazy and, and Lonzo's finally starting to put it together. Bledsoe hasn't looked horrible, horrible. I mean, he's been horrible, but just not like you know, double horribles, not horrible, horrible. <laughs> Cavs Nuggets Nugs at home as nine and a half point favorites over these Cavs. Sex Land, they're still good. I actually like their team. I don't mind them, you know. I, I watch them play, and they're not horrible to watch. I mean, I think you can take the 9.5 and, and, and kind of hope that they're on one. Torian Prince brings a, a defensive wing to them. I like it. I mean, I, I'm not, to, I'm, to be honest, I'm not touching this game. It wouldn't be in, it be in any of my wager pass picks. There probably won't be a single bet, prop, or anything. That has me choosing between the Cavs and the Nuggets. Uh, there will be some DFS plays, though. I think Torian Prince is a good one. I think Will Barton is my favorite out of that game as a DFS play. Uh, but, yeah, Cavs, Cavs, Nuggets, I'm not really touching. The over-under sits at 219.5, but not much there. I think this is a really good game, this next one. Tips off 7.05 p.m., one of the late night games, one of two late night games. It's the only good one. Bucks Suns. Suns at home as four-point underdogs against these Milwaukee Bucks, who will be without Drew Holiday as he's out with health and safety protocols. Bryn Forbes gets the start. I still like the Bucks here, man. I think they just don't the Suns don't have anything to slow down Giannis in any way. To just, even if they wanted to make a wall, it's not a big enough wall to slow down Giannis. I think that plays a factor. I think Chris Middleton is a walking bucket that plays really good defense. Bryn Forbes can still knock down a good shot. I think Chris Paul is a DFS play of the day, though. I think Aiton's going to play a big role. I think Brooke Lopez is a good value, mid-value center in DFS plays of the day as well. I think he's going to have to play a, a, a sizable role in today's win, him or Portis. It's interesting for the Bucks to play without Drew Holiday. Cuz I think Drew Holiday was finally finding his his role, finally, you know, getting his feet under him with this new team. So it sucks to see him go out with health and safety protocols. Hopefully everything's okay. But I still like the Bucks here minus 4. I'm taking minus 4 with some confidence. I'll tell you guys that right now. Uh I li- I like the Bucks here. Let's go ahead and look at these props for this game. And these props are going to be presented by mybookie.ag for all your betting needs, whether it be sports, politics, Hollywood, Hollywood news, and and, and whatever that the Hollywood reporting or whatever it's called. <laughs> I don't know. All I know is that if you want to bet on it, it can all be done at mybookie.ag. Go to mybookie.ag. Use promo code hoopball. That's H O O P. B A L L, and they will match up to five hundred dollars of your very first deposit. And hey, guys, although my run has been snapped, it doesn't mean I'm not going to go on another one. And it doesn't mean we don't have six other amazing handicappers here at hoop-ball.com. And you can see all of our picks for just thirty-three cents a day using the hoop-ball.com slash wager pass. Again, just thirty-three cents a day. It goes a long ways. We've been hitting underdogs. You guys already know I have the underdog picks of the day. Me and Eric are about to start our brand new MMA show. Here that will be a podcast, but you guys get to see all of our MMA picks. Mm -hmm. We have NHL guys coming. So, again, big stuff happening for us, guys. And uh, I think 
I think it's well worth it. So go to hoop-ball.com slash wager pass, sign it up today, and start winning money. All right, guys, Bucks and Suns, we're looking at these props. We're going to go to over-under on the points. Bobby Portis is at the top at 9.5. Brooke Lopez over-under is at 12.5. Dante DiVincenzo is at 10. Ansel Tacumpo is at 29. And Middleton is at 21.5. We hit him nice the other day. We had Middleton. I think it was he had he had to get over 19.5 points. Hit that and the Milwaukee win. You guys already knew I was feeling that one. Had to bring that up. Dante DiVincenzo over 10.5 intrigues me, but I'm still not on it. The one that I'm on, though, and I think, and I told you earlier, I think he plays a sizable role in this win, and that's Brooke Lopez. And I'm going to say over 12.5 is a good bang for your buck as it pays even money. So twelve and over twelve and a half points pays even money for Brooke Lopez. We can go to the player performance double doubles. You guys know how much I like that, and I always like to look for the things that are already with my mindset of let's say Milwaukee winning. So you have this here. You have Chris Milton scoring twenty plus points and Milwaukee wins. That currently sits at minus one twenty. That's a good one there. I also like Giannis. To have six assists and a Milwaukee win, that's at minus one hundred four. Again, they're they're still heavily favored in the Bucks uh, on the Bucks side, but there's still money to be made. So good props over there. Again, we like Bucks minus four. We're feeling that one quite a bit. And the last game of the day. Again, it's going to be a fade for me. Oklahoma City Thunder, 12-point underdogs on the road to the Lakers, who are expected to be out. Anthony Davis, LeBron James has his. Daily game time decision tag. I mean, regardless, I, I, even if LeBron and AD sat, I could see the Lakers winning this game. Uh, 12 points is a lot, so if you believe in this Thunder team, I get it. But there's still no Theo Maldon. They finally got Isaiah Roby back to play another center spot for them. Al Horford's played good, but uh, Isaiah Roby's going to come off the bench for him, so it gives him another big... You just never know what player is going to step up for the Thunders. I mean, for the Thunder, they play good, but they're just still so young. They're still developing. They're they're waiting for those draft picks to start becoming real players. Maybe a trade or two. Uh, I'm fading this game, and I'm fading this game heavy. All right, guys, that has been our show. I, I appreciate all of you guys for listening. And again, I... I told you guys on the last show that I was on, and I'll tell it to you guys again. If you leave a rate and a review of this show on YouTube, on iTunes, wherever you're listening to this, screenshot it that you rated and reviewed it at me on Twitter, at VM Center, with that picture, with that screenshot, and I'll give you my wager pass picks for free that day. So it could be you can you can save it until an MMA day, whatever it could be, whatever it may be. But give an honest review of the show. It doesn't always have to be good. I just want to see that you guys are reviewing, taking the time to review it, because every little bit helps. Whether it's us improving or whether it's you promoting us, so we get higher on on the charts. We definitely appreciate it. So definitely go go do that. And again, I will give away my wager pass pick to you for that day for free, if, as long as you screenshot it and send me your review at VM Center. Again, guys, go to mybookie.ag, use promo code HOOPBALL, H-O-O-P-B-A-L-L, match up to $500 of your very first deposit. Sign up for the wager pass. As Devin would say, I'm sending you all my good vibes, and until next time, good luck. This has been a Hoop Bowl presentation.